We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Merciful Shepherd, merciful Lord, come in all your glory, in all your splendor. Come, Lord Jesus. 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 We proclaim he lived, he died. And he said in three days he would rise. He came to take away our sins and to give us new life. He saved us through the cross and our hearts are changed because of his great love. Sing your praises. 
every tongue will confess, every knee will bow. All the earth will sing your praise, nations will acknowledge the Lord as a Savior. All the earth will sing your praise. Sovereign and almighty 
Let's close our eyes and believe in our heart everything will pass away. This life will quickly pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. And Jesus tells us everything is passing. 
only the truth remains and God's word is the truth that liberates us. God's word is that which holds us, sustains us. If God withdraws his word, everything collapses. Nothing will exist, nothing will stand. And Jesus tells us, only my word remains. Everything else will change, will pass away. And today we are before a God who understands us, who sees our struggles, who knows what lies ahead of us. A God who has come that we may have life and life in its abundance and not move with that which is passing away. We are set apart today in the power of his love and we are his people and he is our God. And we are chosen to reflect who he is. He is a wonderful, merciful Savior. He is our precious Redeemer and our friend. Who would have thought that a lamb could rescue the souls of men? The wisdom of God operates beyond all evil intellectual understanding. We long for His Spirit to embrace us. And He offers hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost the way. Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend. matters and God shows us that he is the way 
the truth and the life, the redeemer and the hope that transforms all things for our good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. All glory, all honor, all power belong to you, Savior. And you are worthy to receive all our love. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Brothers, this prayer, a continuation of yesterday's inner healing prayer service. Today, we want to offer to God all the burden of pain in our body. There's something beautiful in the Gospels. Wherever Jesus went, it was the sick and the broken-hearted people who crowded around him. And whenever the sick were present, we are told the heart of Jesus moved within him. The heart of Jesus moved within him in compassion, a God who came to heal. And Jesus himself said it, it is the sick who need a physician. He offered himself as a physician to everyone sick, to everyone in distress. And we want to offer to him all our sickness this morning, believing God's power is descending into our body. There's something beautiful in the Gospels, every sick person who came to Jesus felt the power, the power of compassion moving in their body. Bartimaeus felt it in his eyes. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? This man was crying aloud, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? This man cried out, Master, I want to see. Let your eyes be opened, was the answer of Jesus. A very simple answer that contained the power of the compassion of the Lord. And the eyes of Bartimaeus were opened immediately. And every sick person felt it. The woman with the hemorrhages, she came from behind. She touched the tip of the garment of Jesus. She knew, according to the understanding of the time, because of her hemorrhages, she could not touch a man. But she wanted to touch the tip of the garment of Jesus. She felt the power flowing into her and she was healed. The man in the synagogue, the man with the withered arm, when Jesus saw him, Jesus wanted to heal him, but he knew he was not permitted 
to heal this man because it was sabbath according to the understanding of the time on the day of sabbath a healing was not to be given that would be against the law and jesus knew he was not permitted to heal this man but jesus wanted to heal him therefore there were two options before jesus either to leave him alone on the sabbath leave him alone in his sickness and jesus would save himself because he would not be blamed for violating the law but jesus knew this man was in distress what what does it mean a man with the withered right hand this man could not work this man could not earn a living this could this man could not marry he could not raise a family a man without future jesus saw it all in his withered hand and jesus wanted to heal him he asked the pharisees what is to be done on the sabbath to give life or to destroy it for jesus not to heal him was to destroy him jesus asked him stretch your hand out to me and he stretched his hand out and he was healed and that was the first time the pharisees and the sadducees went out to take counsel against jesus how to put him to death by healing this man jesus was placing his own life his own life in jeopardy risk but jesus did it because the well being of that poor young man was the concern of god this is our god all this reveals to us what god is thinking about now looking at you my brother my sister looking at your sickness your problem in your body what is god thinking god wants god wants to to set you free god wants to heal you because he does not want you to take all that pain he does not want you to be stifled in your life a big question jesus asked do you believe i can do this for you jesus did not ask how serious your sickness is jesus did not ask how long you were suffering from this no none of these questions but only one question jesus asked do you believe i can do this for you a question jesus is asking us today do you believe i can heal you we want to tell him lord i believe we want to tell him lord i know if you say a word i will be healed i'm waiting to experience your power of compassion in my body that i may experience your love flowing into me let's welcome jesus let's offer to him all the pain of our body let's offer to him all the problems of our life let's offer to him every form of distress that we are going through because of our sickness jesus understands a god who understands a god whose heart is beginning to move when we offer to him our pain our problem our sickness let's kneel down to welcome jesus let's kneel down to welcome jesus into our midst welcome jesus into every bit of pain in our body welcome jesus into every sickness of our body and mind the lord is waiting the lord is waiting to show his compassion to us and heal us let's believe this this morning jesus is coming to us coming to every one of us with this question do you believe i can heal you there is sing together putting our faith in him let's sing together worshiping and adoring him let's sing together surrendering surrendering 
all the problem of our life to him believing the lord is waiting lord is waiting to take charge to take charge of every problem in our life when we come to a doctor when we come to a doctor what do we expect we expect a medicine a good medicine for the sickness that's what a doctor is capable of when we come to an engineer what do we expect we expect a good plan for our house that's what an engineer is capable of when we come to god what do we expect we expect a miracle that's what god is capable of we expect a miracle from our god and god said it jeremiah 32:27 jeremiah 32:27 god said am i not the lord of all the flesh am i not the lord of all the flesh is anything impossible to me is nothing impossible for our god and we want to we want to believe this revelation nothing is impossible to god a doctor may have told you you have a serious problem or oh yes a serious health problem but that health problem is the concern of jesus is coming to us today let's sing together worshiping adoring believing waiting for god's power to flow into us
So God, we trust, we trust in your mercy, Lord Jesus. We surrender to you every pain, every distress of our mind, oh God. We offer to you, Lord, all the sickness we are suffering from. You came to take our sickness away. You, take, you came to take our pain away. We believe in your mercy, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Nirmal, Robert, Neela, Pramila, Michael, Francis, Peter, Sandra. The Lord is telling you, Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 My hands are not shortened that I cannot save you. My heart is not grown dull that I cannot answer your prayer. Hallelujah. Think, thank you Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We trust in your mercy, Lord. We trust in your mercy, Thank Lord. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. We want to bring to the Lord as an offering this morning. We are worshiping our God. Every worshiper brings an offering to the Lord. And the one offering we want to bring to the Lord today is the burden burden of sickness all forms of sickness we want to offer to him and we want to believe this a God is waiting a God is waiting to heal us a God is waiting to take charge of every pain of our body of every problem of our life a God's mercy will descend upon us and fill us let us sing together, putting our trust in the Lord, that we believe in Him. To believe means to trust. To believe means to, to surrender. To believe means to wait upon God. Trusting God is waiting. God is waiting to heal us. And therefore, placing the bundle, the burden of our life, at the feet of the Lord, let us sing together. I believe, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. You can heal me now. If only you say.
wants to speak to us this particular event in the gospel has a message a personal message to every one of us from the gospel of Matthew chapter 8 verses 5 to 13 when Jesus entered Capernaum 
a centurion approached him and appealed to him saying lord my servant is lying at home paralyzed suffering dreadfully he said to him i will come and cure him the centurion said in reply lord i am not worthy to have you enter into my under my roof only say the word and my servant will be healed for i to a person subject to authority with soldiers subject to me and i say to one go and he goes and to another come here and he comes and to my slave do this and he does it when jesus heard this he was amazed and said to those following him amen i said to you in no one in israel have i found such faith i said to you many will come from the east and the west and will recline with abraham isaac and jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven but the children of the kingdom will be driven out into the outer darkness where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth and jesus said to the centurion you may go as you have believed let it be done for you and at that very hour his servant was healed the gospel of the lord praise be to the lord jesus christ please be seated my dear brothers and sisters amazing faith that's what jesus said a faith that amazed jesus and there's a reason for this this centurion was not a jew he did not know he has not studied of the prophecies of the old testament he grew up in rome in a pagan territory he did not know of the promises of god for god's people and yet and yet he believed and his faith was so strong he calls jesus lord twice he calls jesus lord the something very wonderful about that call he accepted jesus as the lord that was a time when edict had gone out of rome from the chair of caesar the emperor of rome that everyone should call caesar as the lord and god dominus devus only the roman emperor caesar was to be called lord and god and when the roman citizens met each other they greeted each other by saying caesar lord god that was the time there is a time when everybody had to proclaim that jesus had personal authority over everyone in the world but this centurion centurion means a captain who had 100 soldiers under him he was in charge of the law and order in kafnam as a centurion as a police officer and he had to make sure that everyone in kafnam called caesar lord god but the centurion knew no that it was a false city caesar had no power caesar had no authority over the people in kafnam 
it was jesus the rabbi from nazareth it was jesus having authority over everyone in the world and that's why he calls jesus lord twice he comes to jesus and ask him my servant is lying at home paralyzed suffering dreadfully and jesus offered i will come and heal him but the centurion said lord i am not worthy that you enter under my roof but why you need not come to my house It's enough that you say a word your word is power power over the paralysis of my servant because i know the centurion said what authority is i have soldiers subject to me to one i say go and he goes to another one come here and he comes a third one do this and he does it everyone obeys my authority lord jesus you have authority over the paralysis over the pain over the distress of my servant you just say the word my servant will be healed and jesus was amazed jesus was amazed at the faith of this centurion and said to him go let it happen to you as you believed jesus wants to say this to every one of us let it happen to you as you believe and what do you believe can jesus say this to you let it happen to you as you believe do you believe Jesus has authority over every pain every disability of your body or the distress of your mind if you believe this you will see miracles today in the presence of the lord everyone who believes sees miracles a god is the god of the impossibles we want to put our trust in him we want to tell him lord you are the lord you have authority over my pain of spondylosis you have authority over my migraine headache you have authority over my backache the problem of my backbone you have authority over every part of my body because you created you are the lord and savior i believe let's proclaim our faith in the lord there is surrender on our knees there is surrender every problem of our life to god let's all kneel down once again on our knees we want to surrender here i am we want to tell jesus here i am on my knees worshiping and adoring here i am on my knees believing here i am on my knees trusting trusting in your mercy and power lord here i am Mercy falls from heaven you run in 
Hearts up to Him. Take my heart Take my life. and touch my soul. Touch my soul. Here, Here I, I am. am. Here I am. Here I am. Reaching out to Jesus. Jesus. His mercy falls from heaven. Here I out to you my lord his mercy falls your mercy Nathan, Dolphy, Joes. The Lord is telling you. Luke chapter eleven, verse nine. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock. and the door will be opened to you everyone who asks receives everyone who seeks finds everyone who knocks the door will be opened this is our god this is the promise of the lord with that promise 
believing in that promise we want to be in the presence of our god let's all kneel down let's all sit once again on our chairs we want to pray we want to pray for each other because there's a promise you believe i lay your hand on each other and pray your prayer will be answered the sick will be healed with that promise claiming that promise we want to pray for each other those who are suffering from an acute backache could you please stand up we want to pray for you those of us suffering from a backache could you please stand up we want to pray for you we want to pray that god's power may descend into your back and heal you totally that you may be able to work for the lord that you may be able to be healthy for your family that backache offer to god those of you who are standing please continue standing those of you having a pain of spondylitis a pain of the neck and of the shoulders could you please stand up we want to pray for you we want to pray for god's mercy god's mercy to descend descend upon you and heal you the lord is waiting the lord is waiting to heal you my brother my sister there's our faith we want to trust in him to so we having a problem of arthritis could you please stand up we want to pray for you that god's power of healing may flow into your joints and take away all the pain of your joints those of you having a pain of the knee joints could you please stand up your knee joints we want to pray for you that god's mercy and compassion may flow down to you and heal you those of you who are standing up and those of you who are sitting down reach your hand out and touch one person standing up reach your hand out and touch one person standing up claiming the promise of the lord you lay your hand on the sick and the sick will be healed when you feel the touch believe this it is the touch of the lord it is the touch of the nail pierced hand of jesus when you are touching your brother your sister believe this you are touching with the hand of the lord that god's power may descend upon every one of us we want to trust in what god is going to do for us we want to place our hope in him this is a moment of healing a moment the promises of the lord are going to come true come true in your body in your mind in your life god's promise god's promise of healing may come upon every one of us and let us pray together hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you jesus you're the lord you're the savior jesus thank you you are our healer hallelujah have mercy lord jesus have mercy we trust in your power lord jesus my brothers my sisters we offer them to you oh god for your mercy for your compassion to flow down to them jesus we praise you we thank you we worship you we adore you hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you jesus 
Lord, we trust in your mercy and power. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Please be seated. Those of you having a migraine headache, could you please stand up? That headache bothers you all the time. And those of you who are diabetic, could you please stand up? A problem that is stifling your life. Nothing is impossible to our God. We want to put our trust in the Lord, that the Lord is healing you. Those of you having a problem of the eyes, could you please stand up? We want to pray for the mercy of the Lord to descend upon you. Those of you having a skin problem, could you please stand up? We want to offer a skin problem to the Lord, trusting in His mercy. So we're having a problem of hearing, could you please stand up? We stand up believing in God's power to descend upon us. So we're having any other bodily ailment, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. But to pray for God's mercy. Whatever bodily ailment, whatever ailment of your inner glands, we want to offer it all to God. For God's power to come upon every one of us and heal us. And those standing up, those sitting down, reach your hand out and touch. Reach your hand out and touch one person standing up. Touch your brother, your sister. With the mercy of the Lord, trusting in the mercy of the Lord, we want to touch, touch and pray that God's power may come down to us. Let us pray together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We believe in your mercy, Lord. We trust in your compassion. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You are the Lord. You are the Master. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord of mercy. A mercy, Lord Jesus, have mercy. We trust, oh God, we trust. We believe in your power, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we believe in you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us all now stand up. Let us all now stand up and pray together. Healer, heal me. Asking our God to send the power of healing upon every one of us. Healer, heal me.
message to you. Jeremiah chapter 65 verse 24. Before you call upon me, I will answer you. Before you call upon me, I will answer you. God waiting to answer. God waiting to show compassion. God waiting waiting to heal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. Some of you had 
the problem of migraine headache you had it even this morning but now that headache is healed has anyone recognized the healing could you please stand up you had a migraine headache even this morning you had that headache but now that headache is healed two persons are standing up could you please come forward could you please come forward to proclaim the mercy of our god could you please come forward to proclaim god's power descending upon us my green headache is a terrible situation but when god heals god takes away all that pain from us the three of them please come forward face the altar face the altar face the lord face the altar and some of you had a problem with your knee joints those of you who got up in order to be healed could you please stand up once again could you please stand up once again now move your knee joints flex your knee joints and move the knee joints forward sideways and backward you will realize whether there's a there's a pain even now when you move and flex your knee joints if you don't feel that pain that means god has taken that pain away please come forward please come forward those of you who can testify please come forward to proclaim the mercy of our god come forward to proclaim the mercy of our god come forward those of you who stood up having a problem of spondylitis could you please stand up once again those who stood up could you please stand up once again you had the problem of spondylitis because of that pain of your neck and if your shoulders you could not raise your arms up and now raise your arms up raise your arm both your arms up as high as you can you could not raise your arms up like this earlier because of the pain of spondylosis and now when you raise your arms up if there's no pain on your shoulders on your neck that means god has done the miracle of healing you taking that pain away please come forward please come forward to praise to praise and thank our god for what god has done for us please come forward we want to tell god how grateful we are the god we believe in is a merciful god the god who we believe in is a god who is waiting to intervene into our pain into our suffering to take our pain away a merciful god that we trust in that we follow hallelujah, hallelujah. thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. praise you jesus thank you jesus and those of you who have recognized any other healing any other healing could you please come forward the sophie who stood up for the healing of the back could you please stand up once again the so stood up for the healing of the back could you please stand up once again because of your back ache you could not bend forward naturally the sophie having the back ache you cannot bend forward now bend forward as low as you can bend forward as low as you can and see whether your back is hurting if your back is not hurting that means god has healed you come forward those of you can testify come forward to praise and thank our god to trust in him and to proclaim how merciful our god is come forward to praise and thank our god let's clap our hands and praise our god for the mercy for the compassion the lord is showing us praise him, and Jesus. thank you and those of you who had any other physical ailment if you felt a healing could you also please stand up and come forward any of you felt any other physical ailment could you also please come forward
to praise and thank our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 My dear sisters and brothers, wherever the word of God is preached, wherever we approach the Lord in faith, these miracles take place. God is waiting to take away our pain, to heal our ailments. Let us believe in him and let us surrender all our pain, all our suffering to him, waiting for his power to be manifested in our body, in our life. Let's all kneel down. Let's all kneel down to receive the blessing of the Lord that God's mercy may descend upon every one of us. Let us worship the Lord our God and sing together to receive God's mercy. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 